What a challenging year this year has been. A year of so many newness. We've all experienced things that we never thought would have been possible. We've done things that we never thought we would be strong enough to do. And all too soon, we are entering into another year. 2020 is almost behind us. And I know for most of us, this Sobolo here, Bissab, Sorel, Hibiscus tea, whatever you call it, has been something that we have enjoyed one way or the other. Maybe it might have been your first time, but for me, it is something that we drink a lot I always say if you come to my house and I don't serve you this maybe you're not that welcome for many others this was a new discovery this year as we all strive to find home remedies to help boost our immune system so we could survive this year and thankfully we have survived and yes I'm walking into 2021 with my glass of silver in my hand to toast this new year my mom actually called me not too long ago and told me about her updated recipe I tried it and amazing amazing so I'm sharing with you so hopefully you can also update yours and you like it as well so I am toasting my spices what is new in my recipe is the fact that I toast my spices and also I have some calabash nutmeg as well as some peppercorns in here. My spices are toasted so I've set it aside now and I am going to rinse my hibiscus flowers. So these flowers in my previous video were in powder or crushed form. I didn't rinse it because I didn't want to lose everything. But I bought this here in the States and they come in the actual whole flowers. My mom typically crushes this when she buys it. So... This I have rinsed, it's in my saucepan now, I have added my ginger and my peppers and I'm going to cut up my pineapple. I love pineapple and I always, always put pineapple in my sobolo. Yes, at least the skin. Sometimes I'll eat the fruit and then just add the skin but definitely always pineapple skin because I want the pineapple flavor and fragrance in my sobolo. So um, I've washed my pineapple, of course, because the skin is going to get cooked in here as well. And I have peeled it. It doesn't matter that I have a lot of flesh in the, in the skin because, like I said, sometimes I choose to eat my pineapple anyway. So the flesh has to have some of the fruit on it so you get the fragrance, okay? And this year we've all known that pineapple skins are of great benefit. And so that is maybe one reason why you discovered this drink. Very good. Tasty. There, there, there. So my pineapple peel or skins goes into my pot. I already have the sap in here of my ginger and my peppers as well. So here are my spices, my toasted spices going in as well. And then I'll keep my pineapples aside. Like I said, these are going to go in later on. I'm going to blend it this time around. I really want to put it in here because if I'm doing something that I'll, I do different, I want to show you as well. So yes, this time around, we are going to blend our pineapple. I've added here six quarts of water to my pot. This is an eight quart saucepan. So I filled it with water and I'm going to bring this to a boil. So this has boiled for about 45 minutes. I typically boil it 45 to 50 minutes. And at this point, I'm going to turn off the heat and let this cool overnight. Typically, I will do this sometimes if I really need it urgently. You know, if I'm doing something and I didn't make it ahead, I'll just strain it right away and let it cool. But I'm not in a rush to drink this yet. So just look at the color, how rich, you know, what we say wine color and they say burgundy here beautiful rich color that is how you want it to be and the fragrance that you get all those spices amazing so the next day this has cooled down completely as you can see even the most of the ingredients has already settled in the bottom so it's going to be easy for me to strain and the color just gets richer the spices infuse as it sits overnight okay i've blended my uh, pineapples now and i'm going to strain it i'm using a fine strainer i rinsed it off as well and this I'm going to strain and then I'll add my, my hibiscus tea to that.
So since I strain them into separate bowls and I have the whole of the pineapple, the blended pineapple in one bowl and this one has nothing, I washed out my saucepan and now I'm going to pour everything together so it's combined and we have a very even taste. In every scoop or every glass full you have everything tasting the same. So basically at this point you can sweeten with whatever you like, sugar or whatever kind of sweetener you like. I typically sweeten mine with honey. I just love the smell of the honey. You smell it, you taste it and I like that and of course it is a little better than just regular sugars. But obviously whatever sweetener you prefer to use is what you will put in there and that is going to work for you. Sugar, honey, agave. Whatever kind of sweetener your diet requires or whatever you typically use in your food, that is what you're going to put in this drink. Anyway, so I have added my honey, tasted it. I think I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in here as well. So there goes my sugar and at this point, my drink is perfect. I'm just going to bottle them now and I will put them in the refrigerator and we are good to go. If you prefer it warm, you can definitely warm it when you bring it out of the fridge. A lot of people have drank it warm this year just because of course warm fluids have been encouraged this year. And so it's totally up to you, but either way, this is very good. If you are throwing a party, maybe you could put these stickers on your drinks. It helps people to know what it is so you are not answering everybody and telling everybody what this is. I like to serve Sobolo as well as other drinks as well. So stickers like this will help them know what you have or any kind of labeling depending on what you are serving your drinks in, you know, the vessel that will contain everything. But I think this is nice and it's just great presentation as well. So hopefully that is a good tip for you for your parties as well. Thank you so much for making 2020 a great year for me. I hope you truly enjoyed my company. I hope you picked a recipe or two from me. It has been an honor and delight to be able to come this far in my journey and I couldn't be here without you. In 2021, I am praying for good health, long life, strength, increment for all of us in all our endeavors. Mi mama fin shi apo, a fin kon me san yo hon, a fin kon me tu yen fi e so, a fin se se ni e ti a se, ni e wa hon di yon fu fro, e ni yon yon fu fro, di di e fu fro, e ni da se fu fro, a fin se se ni e di di e de, ni e nom di e de, e ni yon ku pon e ye ni na ya kon ma swa di a ma e. I thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I get a thumbs up from you as well. And until I come your way in the new year with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.